Hi, praise the Lord, everyone. This is Prophetess Kimberly Moses. I just want to uh, welcome you guys. I'm trying to um, go ahead and invite my networks. I know I haven't been on here in a while, you guys. I've been in my season of rest and uh, just seeking the Lord about some stuff. Um, I just got off Periscope. So if you don't follow me on Periscope, go ahead and watch that. I just did a teaching on Periscope about cut the negativity. Amen. I thank God for that. I just, I think I feel a lingering uh, anointing from that. Amen. I'm starting to be on fire. <laughs> Jesus. But anyways, today, you guys, I want to talk to you guys about several things. Amen. Uh, got a lot of great things coming up. Amen. Um, today, we're going to talk a little bit out of my new book, Comfort of Mind and Daily Devotional. Amen. So many, uh, I be, I, every day I'm getting a lot of testimonies, you guys, about the book and how God set them free, somebody freeing their mind. And people um, in California are messaging me every day and saying, my pastor has us reading your devotions. Woman of God, I got all your books now. I love your ministry. Just so many great, fantastic uh, praise reports coming in from this book. So if you haven't got the book yet, get the book. Amen. Uh, I, I didn't. I don't. I didn't write these books for me. I wrote these books for different people going through something. Amen. And the mind is important. The mind is very important. That's why the enemy attacks so hard. That's why the enemy uh, try to attack our mind. Amen. I'm trying to go ahead and share to my network, but my computer is extra slow. But anywho, you guys. But I want to show you guys something. Amen. And thank you for sharing. I have a brand new book coming out on the 20th. I'm going to show you guys the book. It's called Eight Keys to Access in the Supernatural. Amen. This is my little first short mini book. It will bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. So we need to live a supernatural life. Amen. As a believer, we need to demonstrate the power of God. We need to be able to, you know, it, when, when we encounter a Muslim or somebody of another religion, they need to know that our God is real. Amen. And how would they know that? You got to be able to demonstrate his power and his kingdom. Amen. The word of God tells us that the word of God is not only in word, but it's also in demonstration. Amen. So I tell you guys, you know, what the Holy Spirit gave me about demonstrating his power. Amen. About accessing the supernatural. Because many of you guys, you know, if you're anything like me, especially if you're a prophet or have a prophetic anointing on your life. Amen. The supernatural is there. Well, even when I was a kid, you know, I was supernatural before I even knew anything about it. All right. So, um, so if you have not already, I'm um, trying to show you the magazine really quickly. All right. Am I still on? Am I still on? Can y'all hear me? Because somebody just called me. I think I'm still on. Let me know if you, let me know if you can hear me. If you can hear me, say, yeah, I can hear you. Amen. And I'm about to, let me just share this to my networks really quickly. Can y'all hear me? Okay, thank you. Let me share this to my timeline. Thank you. Y'all so patient with me. Y'all guys, y'all awesome. Y'all guys are so patient. All right. So let me show you the, let me show you the magazine really, really quickly. Let me go back. All right. So one of the things I offer in this ministry, I offer a free magazine. Just go to my website prophetisk.org click on resources and you can get that or go to my old website kimberlyhargrace.com all right so this month we had dr sharon nespic amen and this is free to you guys a lot of people you say you want like books and stuff for free well i put some of my, some of my writings in here so you know you have opportunities to check this out amen and it's very interactive so all you gotta do is click on anything you're interested in amen and follow me on my blog channel amen god is doing something great yes all right, so Tron's Fashion, you know, get your photo shoot done, tronmoses.org. All right, so you can see that. Um, testimonies about what God is doing in his ministry. Amen. Awesome articles that are anointed, inspiring if you feel some kind of way, hopeless, discouraged. All right, we got all kind of books. Amen. Powerful books. Amen. Just click them. Uh, we did an interview with Prophetess Tasha Moses, my sister-in-law. Uh, she has an awesome testimony of how God redeemed her and restored her life. All right. And I write articles. My husband cooked this beautiful salad. Doesn't that look good, you guys? Mmm, that looks so good. All right. I cooked this. This is my version of Chipotle. All right. And I put my recipes in here so y'all can get the recipes and try to cook them and let me know how they came out. 
uh, cooked this right here, a baked tilapia with some roasted vegetables, you guys. Uh, more anointed articles, amen. Uh, the publishing company, uh, we've got lots of books coming out. Um, marriage, marriage books, relationship books, school, um, more books on the prophetic. All right, so I just put everything in here that we do. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, so, and uh, let me go back. This, this is the, uh, this book right here is is coming out also on the ninth on Friday. So get my client's book. The prophetic staff is a powerful uh, book. All right, so this is the interview. She operates in signs and wonders. Amen. I put all her ministry links in here so you can click it. Amen. All right. So it's awesome. 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 I was I was blessed to interview her. Amen. All right. So you can click on all the books. All right. Support. Support. Written some great. Got some great articles in here that will encourage you. I always put a sinner's prayer in here because I said, God, I want to go back to the basics. God, I don't want to get people saved. I don't know who's reading this magazine, but yeah, I want to get some people saved for your glory. Amen. So that is the magazine. Thank you guys for your patience. I appreciate you guys. So anyways, today, you know, I want to talk a little bit out of my uh, my new book, Comfort of Mind, a daily devotional. Amen. I haven't been on here because this has been my season of rest. So you haven't really, uh, really seen too much from me. But what I'm going to talk to you guys today, we're going to read um, from page 52. Amen. Page 52, which is day 21 out of this book. And I put on here the title that, I don't know what I said, but I said, it's not hopeless, amen, that God is going to give you hope, amen, and that's so true. So, you know, the, the, the scripture today for meditation comes from Lamentations 3 and 21, and it says, this I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. I need somebody to decree that out. This I recall to my mind, therefore I have hope. Amen. So what am I saying? Whenever you're going through something, it seems tough and it seems like everything that God has spoken over your life is not coming to pass. It seems like it's a big contradiction. This that you're going to recall to your mind, therefore you have hope. Let me tell you how good God is. God is sovereign. Amen. And God, he longs to bless his people. God, he, he I'm literally, he's setting some of you up, but he wants his people to be in position. He wants his people to be in the right posture. Let me tell you something. I got a praise report and I want to go ahead and share like this. My God, you know, my, my son wasn't doing too good in school. So I said, I'm not going to receive this. Me and my husband, we prayed before the Lord. And God blessed that boy where he was failing the third grade to get A, B on a row. Amen. That's nobody but God. Because I met with this, I, I met with my son's teacher and she was looking at him like, man, you know, like he wasn't going to pass the third grade. But I give God praise. Amen. We can turn something around and, and, and you know, for his glory. So this that we got to recall to our mind that we're going to have hope. So when you're going through, when everybody seems to walk away from you, when everybody seems to try to come against you, you know, we got to recall to our mind the things, the promises that God has said over our lives, and you will have hope. You will begin to feel hope arise in the inside of you. I know I'm preaching good on here to somebody today. That whenever, you know, you, you may be going through something, it seemed like the opposite. You said, okay, God, you told me that money was coming, but I got these bill collectors calling me, you know, but I'm going to meditate on your promises. I'm going to think about the great things that you told me, God. So therefore, I have hope. God, it seemed like nothing is happening in my life. It seemed like my prayers are hitting the ceiling, but I'm going to sit down. I'm going to recall the promises that you told me, Lord God, in my mind. So therefore, I shall have hope. God, you told me, God, that my husband was on the way. So therefore, I'm not going to look around and look how lonely I am, but I'm going to recall in my mind your promises over my life. So therefore, I have hope because I know that my husband is on the way. I know I'm preaching to somebody on here. God, you told me, God, that you would supply all of my needs. So therefore, I want to recall this scripture in my mind. So therefore, I have hope that my bills are going to be paid, that I won't be homeless, that God is going to supply all of my needs according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Therefore, I have hope. I refuse in this season to meditate on negativity. I refuse in this season to allow the devil to steal my joy. I refuse in this season to allow someone to get me depressed, someone 
mind and to, 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 to get me out of character because I know the promises that God has spoken over my life. Therefore, I have hope. I know I'm preaching to somebody on this broadcast today. Hallelujah. Jesus. Come on, people of God. You know, I don't care how dark it is. I don't care if it look like God ain't never going to come through. God will come through at the last second. How can I say that? Because once when I owe like $2,500 in restitution, the attorneys were looking at me. You going to get a job? And I said, nope, God didn't tell me to get a job. They were looking at me like I was crazy for believing in God. But at the last minute, you guys, at the last minute, God came through. He gave me that $2,500. Amen. And those attorneys, they couldn't say nothing because I had hope. I went to prayer. I pushed back my plate. I made sure I was hearing from God. I was on the right channel, the right frequency to receive. Amen. He said he's going to come through for me. And guess what? He did. So when I was going through, when those attorneys was looking at me like, you're going to get a job. You're going to do this. You know, you only got a month to pay this. What are you going to do? You know, I said, nope. Therefore, in my mind, I'm going to recall God's promises. Therefore, I shall have hope. Therefore, I got hope. Amen. I know, I know I'm preaching to somebody today on this broadcast. Hallelujah. So, you know, I, I know some of you guys are crying. Asking God, seeking God. God, why am I going through this? God, why am I, why am I suffering? Recalling your mind. The promises God has spoken over you. Oh, Jesus, maybe I'm preaching to myself today on this broadcast. Recalling your mind. The things that God has spoken to you. God showed you a vision of your ministry in the future. God showed you your company. Amen. But he didn't show you what you had to go through to get it. But I need you right now in this trying time to, you know, recall to your mind. Therefore, you're going to have hope. Recall to your mind these promises, the things that God has given to you. Amen. You know, stop asking, God, why me? Why not you? You know, why am I going through this? Amen. Maybe because God is trying to, you know, Jesus, my God, hallelujah. You're on the right track. And the devil's trying to stop you. The devil's trying to cause some opposition. But I need you guys to press. You know what I do? Every time I do something great for God, every time I do something, something new, something, it seems like the enemy want to stick his ugly fat head in. But I laugh at opposition. I'm able to recognize the devil. I'm like, ha, ha, ha. Satan, I rebuke you. You know, I'm going to press harder. I'm going to keep pushing. Amen. Because I know what God promised me. I don't care if the opposite is, is, is I don't care if it looked like the opposite is happening. Amen. I'm going to keep recalling in my mind. I'm going to keep saying it over and over again because I want this thing to stick with you. Therefore, I have hope that God will never leave me, that God will never forsake me, that God will not put me to shame because he's all faithful. Amen. He's all faithful. What did God tell you he was going to do for you? Amen. Recall it in your mind. Therefore, you have hope. I'm starting to feel people getting empowered. I'm starting to feel things breaking off of people. Did not God say he's going to prosper you? Did not God say he's going to bless you in this area or that area? Come on now. Hallelujah. So, some of you guys are just being persecuted because you desire to live a godly life. Amen. Every time I do a video, I get attacked. Somebody call me a witch. Somebody call me a uh, uh, um, false prophet. Some crazy stuff. But I know who I am in God. I know that I had encounters with Jesus Christ. Amen. So, I don't even let that stuff get to me. Amen. Because I know what God spoke to me. Amen. Listen, every time you step out and obey God and you are doing the will of God, you're going to face some godly persecution. Amen. If you, desi if you desire to live a godly life, you're going to go through something. You're going to face some trials. You're going to face some tribulations. But you can't sweat the small stuff. You can't value the opinions of haters. You can't value the opinions of others. But you've got to look at yourself the way Christ sees you. You got to know who you are in God. Amen. You got to stand firm on God's word. Amen. And say, okay, God, you said that you are going to bless me. You're going to come through. But it seemed like, you know, my faith is a little bit shaken because the opposite is happening. But God, I'm going to keep encouraging myself in you, God. Amen. I'm going to keep recalling this thing to my mind. Therefore, I got hope. Come on now. 
You know, I'm not going to meditate on persecution. I'm not going to meditate on the rejection I be, may be feeling. I'm not going to even think about the loneliness I may be suffering right now in my heart. I'm not going to worry about this, what, 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 the slander. Because guess what? If God is for me, it doesn't matter who is against me. Amen. That God says in his word that he will prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. That God says in this word that he, he will condemn the tongues of my enemies. God says in this word, come on people of God, when the enemy comes in one way, he'll make them flee before me seven ways. Amen. Therefore, I have hope. Instead of shame, you're getting ready to get a portion of double honor. Hallelujah. So, I want to encourage you. Stop getting in your emotions. Amen. Stop getting so discouraged that it's almost debilitating. That you sit around moping all day. You sit around feeling sorry for yourself. Get up out of that depression. Get up out of that. Amen. God is not ignoring your prayers. God says in his word that the prayers of the upright are his delight. As long as you're walking uprightly before God. I'm going to say it again. As long as you're walking uprightly before God. Come on now. God is hearing your prayers. Amen. The fervent effectual prayers of the righteous avail it much. Maybe, guess what? You know, if you're in a season of trying time, I always tell you guys, fast more. Step up your fasting. Step up your praise. Step up your worship. Step up your, you know, apply yourself in this time. Don't sit down and not do nothing. Come on now. Are you really going to sit there and let the enemy torment you? Let the enemy rob you and steal from you and not do anything? Come on now. The word of God says the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violence take it back by force. I don't know about you, but when the enemy came in my life in 2014 and robbed me, stole from me, you know what I did? I got myself in a posture. I went back. I got my stuff back. Amen. And my own ability. Amen. Through, through the power of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I fasted. I warred it with my prophecies. Hallelujah. I know I'm preaching good to somebody. Amen. And I begin to see a hand, the hand of the Lord move in my life. I begin to see God's hands move in my life because I refuse to allow the enemy to steal and cause chaos in my life. I said, no, I'm going to fight this good fight of faith. Devil, you don't mess with the wrong one. And when God put an anointing on me, guess what? I went out there. I prayed for every sick person that came across my path. Amen. I began to, the, the best revenge. I said, okay, God, the best revenge. You know, you 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 gave me the, the best gift of revenge is, guess what? The, ter the, the kingdom of darkness. You know, every person that, that I can prophesy to, to break the yokes off their life, I'm going to prophesy. Amen. Every person that, that, that's been bound with sickness, I'm going to decree and command them to be healed in Jesus' name. Every person that's bound by the enemy, that needs some kind of deliverance, God, by the anointing on my life, amen, I'm going to make sure they get set free. That was the best revenge. I didn't just sit up there and let the enemy raw for me and feel sorry for myself and feel discouraged. The devil is a liar. Amen. So I need you guys in this time. Some of you guys are probably going through something. Therefore, in your mind, recall in your mind the promises. Every great thing God has promised you. I know sometimes it's over your head. Like, God, how is this ever going to happen? I don't see how, God. But you got hope. You got to hope that God is not going to leave you high and dry. You got to hope that God wants to step in and intervene in your situation and bless you beyond. You know what? No eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered to the heart of men. The things that God has prepared for those who love him. Isn't God good? I need somebody to give God praise today or right now. God is good. Amen. That he's going to give you the desires of your heart as long as you delight in him. Amen. That God's not going to leave you in the projects. That God's not going to leave you homeless. That God's not going to leave you feeling lonely, depressed. That he is your comforter. That he is your peace. He is your redeemer. He is your protector. He's not going to leave you high and dry. Amen. You have hope. I don't care how much it may seem hopeless. Like you're going to be stuck in that place forever. When you get it up here. When you begin to change your mind. Things will begin to change around you. Amen. I know I was on probation for two years. Amen. I knew I was uh, just in that dry season. But I had it in my mind. I said, nope, God has better for me. I repented. 
Amen. I'm not going to run from my calling anymore. God, okay, wherever you send me, I say, yes, I'm going to get out my comfort zone. I'm not going to do what Kimberly wants to do anymore. God, I'm all about you, Jesus. So therefore, I have hope that you're not going to leave me in this dark trying time, God. Amen. That you're going to pull me up out of this pit. And he did. Amen. So reflect on those promises. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let me tell you what Jeremiah said. We're talking about limitations 3 and 21. Write this down, somebody. Limitations 3 and 21. It says, this I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope. So when Jeremiah, this prophet, was going through something, saying, God, why I got to suffer, God? Every time I open up my mouth, God, there's some kind of persecution. I'm tired of feeling this way, God. I'm lonely. You say I can't marry. You say I can't have no kids. Lord, Every time I say something, God, people want to stone me, mock me. You know, he was just going through. But guess what? He uh, recalled all of God's faithfulness. Amen. And immediately as he began to recall God's goodness, God's faithfulness, hope began to arise inside of him. Amen. So we got to reflect on God's sovereignty during our times of suffering. Amen. You know, sometimes you may feel like Jeremiah, how he was feeling. He, sometimes he felt like God wasn't hearing his prayers because he was crying about things so long. Amen. But God is hearing his prayers. God, God hears your prayers. You know, the word of God tells us that the heart is deceitfully wicked above all things. Amen. You can't go by feelings, saints. You got to go by the word of God. What did God speak to you? What does his word say? Get up out of those emotions. The heart will lead you astray. Your heart will tell you some evil stuff like leave your spouse. Amen. You don't deserve this. Walk away from your family. That's what your heart will tell you. But the word of God will tell you otherwise. Amen. Come on. You know I'm just being real. Hallelujah. So listen, we're going to pray out the word of God. Amen. We're going to pray out scriptures. We're going to get in a posture where we bring it. All our promises, all our promises that God has spoken over us and say, God, you said this. God, you, told, you sent a prophet this way. God, you said this. You told me this in my prayer closet. X, Y, Z, God, you told me this. Amen. I know you said in your word, God, that you watch over your word, God, to perform it. I know your word is not going to return to you void, oh God. You said, God, in your word that you honor your word, God, above your name, oh God. Amen. Start putting God to the test. Start asking God to demonstrate what he told you in your life. Start asking God to demonstrate certain scriptures in your life. That's what I do in my closet. I say, uh-uh, God. Uh-uh, the word says this. Uh-uh. You know, I look around, I see something messed up, jacked up. I say, uh-uh, no, God, your word says this. God, I need you, God, to demonstrate this scripture in my life. Uh-uh. I'm not going to settle for something else. No, God. No, when your word tells me this, come on now. So the word tells us, you know, that God hears the prayers of the righteous. Amen. You don't believe me? Write these scriptures down. Psalms 34, 17. Psalms 34, 17. Exodus 14, 10. Exodus 14, 10. 1 Kings 9, 3. 1 Kings 9 and 3. Psalms 34, verses 4 and 6. Amen. Psalms 34, verses 4 and 6. All these scriptures just validate that God hears the cries of the righteous. Amen. Come on now. So let me tell you something. Every storm has an expiration date. Your trial of suffering, every trial is going to end. Amen. You're going to walk. I'm going to prophesy. You're going to walk in a season of restoration. You're going to walk in a season of joy. You're going to walk in a season of abundance. You're going to walk in a season of having all that your heart can desire. Amen. Because you were faithful. Amen. I don't care if you do something and it seems like you don't get the support that you want. I don't care if you did something for God and people uh, try to persecute you and slander your name. You just do what God told you to do. Amen. And you can't go wrong. Thank you for putting those scriptures up there. Amen. So let me pray. Let me pray. I feel an anointing. And I need people right now just to lift hands. Lift hands, lift hands, lift hands, lift hands. Amen. Lord God, just thank you, God, for your presence, God. God, I thank you, God, for your fire, God. Lord God, we just humble ourselves today, God. We just repent of any sins, any doubts, any fears, any unbelief. Lord God, we just ask you, God, for your forgiveness, God. Lord God, just decree and declare that whenever we feel sorrowful, whenever we feel discouraged, whenever we feel like we're giving up, God, we're going to recall to our minds. Therefore, we're going to have hope. 
Lord God, I just thank you that we're going to reflect on your greatness, God, in our trying times, God. Lord God, you are more powerful than any trial and tribulation, God. God, you are, you are stronger, God, than any trial, God. Lord God, we thank you, God, that our strength is in you. Somebody tell God that, that you, your strength is in him. I thank you that we're going to renew our minds. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So if you like the word that I gave, amen, go get this book, Conquering the Mind, a Daily Devotional. Like I said before, uh... You know, I'm going to post some more testimonies. Uh, I get a pretty much a testimony every day of how the book is blessing them. Amen. And I made a status the other day uh, that, you know, sometimes you got to go back and encourage yourself in the Lord and read your own books, read your own prayers, read your own writings. Amen. Hallelujah. And everything that you're going through, it has purpose with God. That's what you need to know. Everything you're going through, it has purpose. You may be going through right now, but God, I'm telling you, God will bring something out of that. Some purpose out of that. How many people believe that on here? Amen. So I want to officially invite you guys. Uh, we, in about 30 minutes, one of my students from the School of the Prophets is having a prayer line. I'm going to host the call tonight. She's going to be taking prayer requests. She's a bona fide seer. Call in. She's going to give the word of the Lord, and she's going to be taking prayer requests. The number for the prayer line is 712-770-4160. The code is 673-436. Amen. On Friday, I'm going to be doing a prophetic miracle call at 10 p.m. It's going to be on the same prayer line number. A lot of people say, prophetess, I, I want you to give me a word. This X, Y, Z. Listen, when you call that line, when the Q&A session begins, just push star six. And I'll always get the first callers at push star six. All right. So call that number. God has done the miraculous on there. Deaf ears open. Um, somebody had lumps in their breast they dissolved on that call so many miracles happen uh the last call i did this lady she god showed me her demon she had this nasty metal taste in her mouth god showed me that and she got free amen she got delivered on the call amen so if you're bound with something the power of god is going to set you free amen if you need healing in your body i don't care what it is the power of god is going to heal you amen um subscribe to my mailing list if you if you're not already subscribed to my mailing list uh, go to my website, um, get my new book, pre-order my book, Eight Keys of Accessing the Supernatural. This is a support the ministry. Amen. I got like 14, 15 books out. I can't, I can't keep count of it. Amen. But I want you to, amen, get the book. They, they will bless you. Amen. Read it and pass it along with somebody. Check out the magazine, Rejoice the Central Magazine. It is free. Just go to my website, click on the resources. If you are interested in publishing, go to republishing.org and send me your manuscript i want to help you with that area also subscribe to my vlog channel with me and my husband uh t moses vlogs on youtube uh if you need high quality photos professional photos book your photo shoot at tronmoses.org all right i love you guys if you want to be a blessing to the ministry uh you can go to my website prophetsk.org and sow your seed also if you don't follow me on periscope i just did a word uh, it was called cut the negativity. Amen. It was anointed word. It was an anointed word. But before I get off of here, let me just take a prayer request. I'm going to pray for like two people because I didn't get a chance to do it on Periscope. But put your prayer request up. I'm going to go ahead and pray for like two people and then I'm going to hop off and I'm going to get ready for this call because the call starts in like 30 minutes. If you have a prayer request, please put it up. Are you there? Lord God, I pray for Chantel Atiwo. I think you emailed me. God, let's pray right now. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah. Just for our, uh, her house, God. I thank you for her business in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. That you will prosper her as never before. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. And I just hear dreams, dreams, dreams. And God says in this season, you know, as you begin to dream, he's going to show you the meaning of your dreams. And he's going to show you the meaning of the dreams because you dream. You see so much things, uh, the things that God has in store for you. So, God, I thank you, God, for that ability, God, to be a dreamer, God. And I prophesy that those dreams that she has seen, Lord God, they will come to pass in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I command every vision, every dream that she has seen to come to pass.
pass in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, where she felt stuck before, where she felt stagnant, God, that the hand of the Lord right now, Chantel, is pulling you out of that pit in the name of Jesus. I know you come from, like, hard times and, um, uh, it's, uh, how can I say this without, uh, I know you come from like some hard times and a hard trying background, but God said that's not your future, amen? That's not what your future is, you know, that's not what God ordained for you, amen? God has so much more in store for you, amen? Oh God, I thank you, Father God, hallelujah. Lord, and I thank you, Father God, just for, and he says that you begin to just stay faithful in your tithing and offerings and, and, and uh, just faithful because he's dealing with you in the season in the area of your giving she began to stay faithful in the area of tithes and uh offering he'll show you that he'll um provide for you amen you don't have to worry about the house you don't have to worry about uh the, the business god says going to increase your business and i would even just tie off of that business so god i thank you father god in the name of jesus lord just for the business and i command it to prosper as never before in the name of jesus and i pray that makes sense who else need prayer let me go back let me see if i got somebody else somebody else said they need something all right, Iris Watkins, what's wrong with you? Put 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 the symptom up here so I can pray for you, cause I, you're gonna get healed today, Iris Watkins. Amen. God, I pray right now for Kimberly Breakfield. God, I pray right now for her her mate to come forth in the name of Jesus. God, just thank you, Father God. I bind up any counterfeits in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Hallelujah. Iris Watkins, is that you with uh is something in your stomach area? Is that you that I feel? I just feel some, some tightening in my abdomen. Is that you? Iris Watkins, are you still on here? I don't know if you have anything wrong with your abdomen, like your stomach. I don't know if it's a tightening, maybe it's a gastro discomfort. Let me know if this is you that I'm feeling. Let me know so you can get healed. That's, that's your neck. All right. So who, who's on here that has uh, tightening in your uh, abdomen? Maybe has some uh, abdominal discomfort. Who is that? God, I pray right now for Iris Watkins, her neck, in Jesus' name. And I send forth the fire, God, right now. And I command the pain to break in Jesus' name. That's you, April. Amen. Uh, I want I want you, Iris, to get up. I want you, April, to get up and just move. Amen. I command the stiffness to break off of you, Iris, in Jesus' name, Lord. Uh, thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord. I thank you, God, for her healing to manifest. And I send forth the fire, God. And God, I just thank you for Miss April. I thank you for healing in her, her abdomen, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And just let me know what you feel. Let me know. If, let me know. I can't talk. I get so flowing and that's my, I guess, start to stammer. Let me know what you feel, uh, women of God on here. Amen. I started to feel coolness. I, I don't know if it was on this side of your neck, your right side, but I started to feel coolness. I started to feel fire in my belly for you, Miss April. Let me know what you feel. Let me know if the pain is gone. God, by your stripes, they are healed in Jesus' name. God, thank you. I sent forth more fire upon them right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let me know what you feel. Amen. We just give you praise, God, for their healing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless you, too. Bless you, too. So I'm just waiting for, uh, what do you feel, uh, Iris? How does your neck feel? Amen. God, um, I thank you, God, for a miracle in Christine's life. Lord, I just thank you. What do you feel, Miss April? Your neck feel okay? Is is it in? Does is it still hurt? Is it in pain in it? It feels okay. Is it is it stiff right here? Pain still there. So I'm gonna pray again. Lord God, I just command the pain to leave out of Miss April's stomach in the name of Jesus. Lord God, I send forth the fire, of God, right now in her abdomen, right now, and I thank you, Father God. By sure she is healed in Jesus' name, Lord God. I thank you. I command every stubborn pain to break. Off of her and Iris Watkins in the name of Jesus. Say you got to go. Get your hands off these women of God right now in the name of Jesus. Y'all know right in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let me know what you feel. I ain't going to leave off this broadcast till you get healed. I'm very persistent. Amen. I will tarry with you. Amen. I'm, I'm out in a rush. 
Amen. I start to feel heat really, really strong in my stomach. Amen. Matter of fact, my stomach is on fire. Amen. I want to get you healed. I don't want to see, I don't want to hear pain is still there. I want to hear your neck feel okay. I want to know the pain is gone. I want to know if you feel good. Mm, Jesus. I thank you, God, for your your presence and your fire, God. How you feel, Miss Iris? I feel fire going all the way up my neck. Matter of fact, I'm on fire. Let me know how you feel. I'm starting to sweat. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Jesus, I thank you, God. Mm -mm. Jesus, I thank you, God. Miss Irish, you still there? Miss April, are you still there? Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah. Let me know. So I can't see your comments. Yes. Oh God, I thank you. Okay, she said the pain is leaving. Amen. Y'all give God praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, God. Hallelujah. What about you, Miss Iris? Let me know. I want I want to get you healed today. Amen. Um, I come to work your miracle. I don't care how long the pain's been there. Amen. I heard the Holy Ghost say he's doing it right now. And I stand with that. Amen. I break that stubborn pain off you in Jesus name. God said he's doing it right now. Somebody got pain right here in their jaw. I don't know who this is, but I break that off for you in Jesus' name. Like something right here in your jaw. We you at, Miss Iris? Did she disappear on me? Come on, saints. All right, well, God, we give you praise, Lord God. We thank you, Father God, just for increasing your people's lives. We pray for strength. We pray for peace. Oh, God. And how you feel, Miss April? Let me know how you feel. Is the pain gone, Miss April? You said the pain is leaving. Let me know if it's gone. God, we just thank you, Jesus. God, I'm just excited, God, about who you are, Jesus. God, we praise you, God. Hallelujah, God, we reverence you. Lord God, I thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, Jesus. Glory be unto your name. Let me know how you feel, Miss April. I don't know what happened to Miss Iris. Hallelujah. Look at that. Y'all give God praise. She said the pain is gone. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Y'all give God praise for a miracle. Amen. As you rejoice for her. Amen. And rejoice for other people. God will make it happen for you. We got to celebrate people. Amen. Other people in the body. Amen. So that tells you, the first time I prayed, it seemed like nothing happened. But I didn't quit. Amen. And I prayed some more. And her miracle manifested. And we can apply that same principle in our lives. Amen. You may pray for something one time. You may not got you may not see what you want to see or the results. But you keep praying. Keep praying. And don't quit. And don't give up. Amen. Don't quit. Don't give up. And eventually you're going to see some results. Amen. I don't know what happened to Miss Iris, but I heard the Holy Ghost. Amen. He said he was doing it right now. Amen. So I believe that. You know, she got touched by God because I believe what the Holy Spirit told me. All right. So I love you guys. Um, join me about 20 minutes. We're going to be doing a, 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 a prophetic call. One of my students, a bona fide seer. I love her to death. Um, you know, the call, uh, the, 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 the flyers on my timeline. So go to my, uh, you know, look on my timeline and see, see the, number, uh, the, the prayer line number. All right. Join me Friday night. I'm going to be prophesying, taking prayer requests. All right, so I love you guys. God bless you. See you later. God bless.